with all the talk about the metaverse lately, I get one question all the time, and it's, how do I get into this? People have been hearing about virtual reality for a long time, but there's still a little bit of skepticism. Do I have to buy a super expensive computer? Is the hardware really complicated? The news here is good. It's simple. The hardware is mature and it works really great. So it's not hard at all to get into the metaverse. So if you're new to VR and you're just trying to get into this space, I definitely recommend you start with a standalone VR headset. That means just something that comes in a box and you can instantly use it and play. You don't need to have a high power computer. There's not a lot of complicated setup. And the best headset in this space, as far as I'm concerned, is this one right here. This is the Meta Quest 2. It's made by Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook. It comes from the evolution of gadgets that were once known as Oculus headsets, if you heard of those. And they were a leader in this space and have really nailed how to do high precision, really good VR. The base model of the Meta Quest 2 is going to cost you $399. You can get a version with more memory for $499. That might sound like a lot, but it's worth it. If you think about it, you'd pay more than that for a game console, for an Xbox or a PlayStation. And this is really a game console plus. You can play all these VR games in it. You can do social stuff. You can do VR concerts. Anything that you might be interested to do in the metaverse, you can do on this headset. Now, if you're already into VR or if you're ready to leap straight into a more more intense experience, you probably want to look at a PC connected VR headset. So these are ones that you plug directly into a high end gaming PC. And that gives you even more intense graphics, better tracking, it does full body tracking, like you really get a much more intense experience. And they're phenomenal, but they're expensive. To start with, you've got to have that gaming PC. And if you don't have it already, that could easily cost you $1,000 or more just to get started with the PC. And then you've got to get the headset itself. What I recommend is the Valve Index Kit. The Valve Index is the headset and the Index Kit comes with everything you need. It comes with a headset, it comes with controllers, it comes with sensors you place around your room for full body tracking. It costs $999. So it's a lot more expensive than the portable experience, but you are absolutely going to see the difference when you are playing the game. So there is a third option. If you don't want Meta's portable headset or you don't want one of the headsets that plugs into a gaming computer, if you have a PlayStation 4 or 5, you can get the PlayStation VR. This is a headset that plugs directly into your PlayStation and it's a real good experience. It's good quality VR and there are some really good games on the PlayStation platform. Now the nice thing about this particular gadget is that it's not that expensive. Right now it's about $349. You do have to have a PlayStation 4 or 5, but it's another great way to get into VR. The trick here though is that PlayStation has already announced that in early 2023 they're going to be releasing the PlayStation VR 2 and it's going to be a lot better. So you kind of have an option here. You can wait until the holidays and maybe get this first version on discount because there's a brand new one coming out in early 2023. Or if you're smart, you would probably wait until 2023 to get the best new stuff. So those are your best options for getting into VR right now. The hardware is mature. It works really well. There's so much to do. There's games, there's activities, there's exercise. You can do concerts and movies, or you can hang out in social spaces. It's a mature enough ecosystem now that I think it's really the right time to buy one of these second or third generation headsets and get into this space because there's so much exciting stuff going on. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.